The story of Little Tekka is surprisingly detailed, even though he's still just a 21-year-old. Damn! This young rapper was born in Queens back in 2002 and has since gone on to build a music career that's done numbers you can't shy away from and has longevity that seems it will never end. He burst onto the scene back in 2019 when he released his debut mixtape, We Love You Tekka, which featured the song Ransom. If you haven't heard Ransom, you probably haven't been outside within the last five years because that song was able to reach 1.2 billion streams on Spotify and for a while there, you could not really avoid it. This is where it all started. Tekka was everywhere and he handled things perfectly by being himself. The airline took one again, crashed Ferrari, so I hopped in the bands. I don't even drive. I don't even know how to drive. I liked his music, but at the time I really didn't care, but I grew to genuinely like him after his genius interview where he explained that like all of the lyrics are cap in a comedic way, and I wasn't the only one either because this interview went on to gain 13 million views. Before we go any further, I need to note how low-key Tekka actually is, because outside of his album releases, he kind of just falls off the face of the earth. But regardless, despite his lack of social media presence or media presence in general, he still does numbers every release. Anyways, a year after he released We Love You Tekka, it was time for his debut album Virgo World, which had some success debuting at number 10 on the Billboard charts and sold 35,000 copies first week. And even though he had some insane success with the release of We Love You Tekka, we can't forget that these are honestly great numbers for a debut album. But he didn't want to stop. The numbers in the first week of Virgo World were about half of what his previous mixtape had done, and he proved to the world that he had it in him to grow as an artist and not settle for one successful tape. In 2021, we bore witness to his biggest project to that point, featuring talents like Gunna, Chief Keef, Trippy Red, and Little Yachty. Some big names won't automatically ensure that the album is good, though. <coughs> Trippy Red. <coughs> I gained respect for Tekka with this album. At its release, he shared insights into his feelings about his music and where he's at as a musician. In an interview with GQ, he said that he felt We Love You Tekka 2 had more guidance and an actual direction. Virgo World was made at a time where he didn't know where to go, didn't know what he was doing, and just overall felt off. But with We Love You Tekka 2, he stated that making this album felt natural. The energy was different, the vibe was different, and he was focused. It showed in the music too because this album is phenomenal. We Love You Tekka 2 debuted on the Billboard Top 200 at number 10, his second in a row. This time around, it sold 30,000 copies in the first week, but I think that's great even if lower than his last two. He burst onto the scene out of nowhere. He saw the highest of highs in terms of mainstream success, and he had to follow that up as a 17 year old. It makes sense that he would need to take some time and hone his craft and get better at what he wants to do for the rest of his career because he was young. After this album, he vanished again though. He didn't release much in 2022 outside of a few singles scattered throughout the year. And then in 2023, he returned with his third studio album, Tech. Four singles fronted the album with one popping off. 500 pounds is another bop. I could play the song on repeat all day, honestly. This album feels like he finally dialed in on his musical style while still growing as an artist. This album rebounded a bit, selling 41,000 the first week, peaking at 11 on the Billboard Hot 200, and two singles broke into the top 10 of the Billboard Hot 100. Oh, and 500 pounds has already hit over 167 million streams on Spotify, while Heaven on Earth featuring Kodak Black Black is sitting at over 71 million. There's still a lot left in the tank for Little Tekka. You can't forget that he's only 21 years old and he gets better every year that he releases music. Right now, he's actually sitting at just under 21 million monthly listeners on Spotify. He's not stopping either. He released a single titled Down With Me at the beginning of this year and personally, it's my favorite song that he's released. He's also slated to be a feature on Cole Bennett's Lyrical Lemonade album, as Cole is posting BTS pictures of Tekka featuring with the kid Leroy. First off, he's my age, and he conquered the music industry when he was only 17. Second, even though he had as much success somebody could have in their first year of their career, he didn't settle. He knew that he wasn't where he needed to be or where he wanted to be, and he kept pushing, kept grinding, and kept improving. He's worked with some of this generation's most influential artists, and only time will tell where this man goes next. I love you, Tekka.